Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Morrowind, where we are exploring the southeastern part of Vardenfell, along the coast, specifically named Azora's Coast. Here we are, at our home away from home, Encher Dams. And what I want to do today is, I want to head up northways, up this way, loop around to about here, and come back this way. There's some stuff here we have explored, but I don't think we actually went into any points of interest, so I'm going to do that today. So, after a breakfast of champions, rat meat and crab meat, let's get on our way. Due north. We are coming right up against the sister Dwemer Tower and your dooms right there in the distance. And this is a Daedric Ruin, which we've already explored, so we're going to give that a wide berth. The lesser Daedra that inhabit such areas seem to be quite resilient and return. I don't know if their masters are calling them forth, or maybe there's some power involved with the shrine, but for now we're just going to avoid it. Goal. I would like to get this section done, but it looks to be mostly rocky mountains. But let's take a look from on top anyway. Now I have repaired my gear, and I've restocked my supply of levitation potions. So, I should be good to go. I'm not even able to explore this area, which bothers the completionist in me. Just mark it on my map, please! That's all I ask. Ah, cliff racers in the morning. Marksman skill was improving. Apparently, I was wrong. Let's see. I've been over there before. Ooh, there is an egg mine. Don't really see the need to be entering any egg mines. We just have a rocky little mountain range here. What's on the other side? Ah, the Ashlands. Yes. And Wild Bar. Ah. I'll leave him be. Or not. Darn you, Blight! Blighting this poor little Guar. Oh, I feel so bad. So, that's the Ashlands. Let's head northways. And there's... a Kagudi. Taken by surprise. Oh. Totally thought that was way above. A lot of tusks, sir. Ah, shock. Let's sneak up on him and soul trap his face. It's my new favorite hobby. Didn't even see us coming. Trapped a soul. Looks 
looks like I am out of petties. We're doing, doing a pretty good job. With trapping souls for our next enchanting session. Let's see. So I wanted to go up here first, and then head east and south. Looks to be only Rocky Mountain Range on this side. Bit of a foggy day today. Ooh, hello. This is new, yes. And I see a campfire off in the distance. Leave them alone for now. And oh, hello. Skeleton. Let's see, what do we have here? Anna Allen, Ancestral Tomb. Alright, our first point of interest for the day. Let's check it out. Oh, hello. It's a key here. That's okay, I'm gonna need to practice for my lockpicking skill anyway. Just wanna make sure that my Amulet of Star Vision and my two rings are equipped. So let's go in. Lock level 10. Practice is practice. What's gonna be down here? Could be treasures, could be nothing, could be vampires, looks to be fallen lords. Could be nothing but spider webs. Do I have any common soul gems? I do. So I don't I do want to trap that bone mage. Hello. Steel spear. Not really worth the weight. Well, it looks like some other adventurer perished here. Corpse with a Colovian fur helm. So it might have been a Nord yep, a Nordic leather shield. Hello, Bone Lord. Good thing I've equipped silver arrows. Otherwise, my bow would be useless against undead. Come on, Lyvis. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Into the soul gem you go. You now work for me. They always have a lot of bone meal. I don't know if they, if they just collect that or what. And we replaced another soul gem. We'll take that. So, what is this? Wooden staff. Corpse with bone meal on it. And leather right bracer. Leather left bracer. So, looks like a Nord. Explorer. Came to a nasty end. Oh, let's heal up. Door. Untrapped. Unlocked. I heard a skeleton shuffling about. Mm, lots of ritual sites. These oh, still creep me out. All the skulls. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Looks like a skeletal champion. Ah, we knocked him down. And we missed. Excellent beard, sir. Good blocking. Both sides. Ooh, got me good. <coughs> These enemies are getting tougher and tougher. Skeletal champion with a silver longsword. Another doorway and more ritual sites trapped. With a lesser soul gem, we can make use of that. 
locked. Unlocked. Another lesson will do. And another ritual site. I'm always curious what can be found in those, but. Moving on. Door. To a skeletal champion. a bone lord in the background. Should not be fooling around against an opponent wielding a two-handed weapon. That is kind of our bane. Two-handed silver claymore. I don't think he's seen me yet. Come hither. Oh, excellent shield, sir. It's gonna be a bit tougher to get you. Ow. Ugh, that was too tough. Mid-year. Heavy armor skill. Take that. Looks to be the end of the tomb. Is this one piece of gold? Might it be cursed? No. Okay. If it hide. Must need to be thorough. Seems there's nothing here. So. A bunch of ritual sites in here, but that's pretty much it. So, let's be on our merry way. Not even a shrine here, unfortunately. Yep, that's it. Just a tiny little bargain fire shield potion. Just a tiny little ancestral tomb where apparently a Nord met his bitter end. So, moving on. Let's see, before we step outside, let's check our map. Alright, we want to head northwest. And it seems there's a little camp over there. We can just avoid them. Kind of travel along this the base of the hillside here. Betty Netch, the Fraser. Ooh, that was way high. Come on, Limus, concentrate. Focus. Are you diseased? Oh, you are. I'm sorry, Scrib. No songs for you today. And... What do you have here? Some shallow water collops. Hello. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Actually. One pearl would have been nice. Something hates us. Almost there, as we say. Almost to my goal, anyway. 
Hmm? What have we here? Oh, that is tell fear. And is that another ancestral tomb? It is. Oh, skeleton with a club. I feel sorry for you. What have we here? Draloth, ancestral tomb. Interesting. Let's have ourselves a look. Draloth, that name rings a bell. Yes, yes, I believe one of the tasks for the Fighters Guild involves someone named Draloth. Uh, the owner of a, an egg mine, I believe. Which was interesting because it's one of the few times we've seen the uh, nobles actually doing anything. He was actually in the egg mine, helping out his workers, getting his hands dirty. But apparently, he has been neglectful of his ancestor worship. And so, here we are. skeleton and another some more remains of somebody who met the bitter end Let's see if these guys split up ah while this vision is blocked by the column I'm going to attack Head to the opposite way two enemies I don't want to fool around too much So I'll get out my dagger right away. Take care of him. And Frost Aetherna. I believe they go in common soul gems. Or greater. Let's find out. Sneak up on him. Behind the column. So trap his face. Surprise! Thank you for resisting that. That looks like a very powerful spell. Okay, we're clear. And he went into a greater soul gem. Okay, so be it. I'm happy with that. And we got some frost salts. Excellent for making restore magic potions. What happened to this traveler? Scroll of Dedra's Masterful Eye. Calm creature 0 to 80. Hmm. Not sure that's going to work against Undead. We shall borrow that. And you have a Chitin Shortbow. And a Cure Come Disease. Yeah. Wonder how he perished. Probably by the combination of the skeleton and the Frost Eternoch. Unless this net leather right pauldron is cursed, which I don't think so. And what is this? Muck. And raw ebony. Hmm. It's just regular bone meal. Raw ebony. Don't mind if I do. Half expecting that to be cursed. Alright, moving on. This tomb was worth it just for that. Ooh, two-handed. Is my other dagger still up? It is not. Oh, he can't see me. It must be really dark in here. Oh, my sneak skill is that good. Can't even... can't see me. He didn't even get one swing off. 
Excellent. Advantage Livus. Okay, what do we have here? Steel Throwing Star. Yeah, we can use those. Lots of bones strewn about. of enchantment. You may keep your niche leather. I believe that's it for this little tune. Uh, well, we did find a piece of raw ebony, which is a fantastic find. So, let's be on our merry way. we're done here. Let's check our map real quick. So, we want to go a little bit east. I think this is mainly a mountain range here. And then we're going to look back around here, and then come down here. Alright, let's get to it. This is basically a mountain range. Never have enough marshmallow. So that's pretty much where I wanted to go, isn't it? Yes, it is. Target practice along the beach. Ooh, over encumbered. That's okay. I can nibble on some of this. Hello, collops. Lots of collops. I see you, slaughterfish. Do you see me? Not really. I guess so. Interesting sound effects. Underwater sound effects. Alright, let's see if we can get some pearls from these collops. We went one for four last time. There we go, that's better. Hmm, one for three. Hmm, one for four again. That's terrible. That makes me sad. That's okay. Consolation prize is the other collops. So over here. Nope. 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 Oh. And pearl. And apparently that puts me overweight. Now that is I've not gone there before. I think we'll save this Daedric Shrine for another time. Yeah, for now, I wanted to check out this area. And then head south.
Not a big fan of fighting three people at once. Rogue Ashlanders. Heavily armored and armed traveler with your chitin short sword. Raishi Erarabadan. Chitin clubs. Sal Pudashara. Why would you do that? Apparently this person um, didn't see me. Sir, really? Is that a chitin spear? Ugh. Why, sir, why? Talkin Ashardad. Interesting name. It is a chitin spear. What were you protecting? Probably 25 gold. 50 gold! know why Ashlanders care about Imperial Septums, but apparently this camp does. Or at least they wanted my gear. They had loot envy, I guess. Can't really blame them for that. Ah. It's right with me. Right, but he's really weighing me down. It's alright, I'm not dropping it. I shall not drop it. So that's the camp. Take back my arrows. Oh, I should probably get rid of these steel shurikens. Steel throwing stones. Yes. Ooh, they even look cool. Let's see. Nothing much over here. View. I shall consider this section explored. Now, let's go pretty much due south and wrap around and head back towards Enter Dams. Oh, slippery. But it's not. It's even devoid of collops. It does have an ailet though. It's got that much going for it. Ailets and beautiful mushrooms. Very beautiful mushrooms. And. Ashlanders, who want to kill me? No, oh, 
this time when I wanted. Or am I gonna skip together? That'll work. More chitin gear. Guys, guys, you gotta upgrade your gear. Look at me. That's the stuff you want. Satlit Asudnilamat Ibasor Sershur Larpal Why, gentlemen? Why? Ooh, I see an ancestral tomb there. First, we're probably gonna have to get rid of this Mabergash, or whatever she might be. Oh, close the distance. We do not fare well against ranged attackers. This one has health. Heel. Chitin short bow. Ah, arrows. A little low on arrows. I think I'll borrow those. In fact, I'll use them first. Oh, that brings me over. That's okay. I can drop some. Hmm, what can I drop? That. I can eat that. Get rid of these plumes. Not so much, not so much. Kakuti hide. Oh, 22 bone meal. Yeah, we can drop those. Okay, we're good. Alright, to the tomb! Oh, this, I've just been here. I have the Andalan ancestral tomb. So instead, I want to go east. Due east. If I can fit through this mushroom and a rock, we're good. And the. Oops, whoa. Careful. I'm gonna wing this one if I can. There we go. Okay, much better with the bow. Halfway there, in fact. Give me that arrow back. So, I want to go this way. Hmm, I do like the tall view. Anything over here? I see you, rat. Taste my chitin arrow. I'd be very impressed if you can get up that slope. You can't. Seem to be stuck in the mud. 
Ooh, you have a friend. Right in the butt. This one's not stuck in mud. Looks like everything's blighted out here. Delicious blighted rat meat. Okay, here I've sort of been to before. What's this? A Renum ancestral tomb. Let's check that out. I don't remember if I've been there before. doesn't sound familiar, so let's check it out since we're here. Plus, it's getting late. We'll probably shelter there for the night. Oh, this way. Whoop! Don't break an ankle, please! Ooh, let's try my model columns. In the evening. Striking out one of the pearls today. Oh, hello. Hello, Wimpy Guardian. You have a an iron tento pass. if you've been in here before. So, let's check it out. And we have not, because I don't remember it, also known as my map is not filled out. Hmm. She does not look like a vampire. All right, all right, all right. Back up a moment. Michelle, fatigue, magicka. Standard Libus negotiation protocol. Satyana. Greetings. I thought I heard someone. I suppose you're here to loot. This is my own family's tomb, but I'd be willing to let you take a few things if you help me find my father's amulet. Well, Satyana, seems like I could do that. Yes, my father, Augustus Arenum. He was buried here many years ago when I was but a child. There are only a few of my family left. I thought I'd try and recover part of my inheritance. I'd only just arrived when I heard someone. Are you willing to help me out? Yeah, I can help you, Oz. Good. I'm glad you decided to help. You'll need a key to get into my family's to my father's tomb. I can't open the door myself. I think my father had a friend buried in here. Maybe his body has a key. I'll stick nearby and help out when I can. Okay. Yes, Outland. What do you want? She seems friendly enough. She's certainly uh, geared up. Looks like she's in some kind of steel. So, let's see what this tomb is about. Cheap fortified agility. Illet hide. Now she says we need a key. So, let's see. Ooh, looks like quite the labyrinth. Expensive shirt. Dance and Fire, Chapter 5. 
Ooh, marksman skill. I'm gonna that. She said we could take stuff, so... I simply want the book. And to nibble on some rat meat. Trapped. Um, quite impressive, actually. She's got a Dwemer axe, two-handed axe, and she can cast Bone Walkers, which I <laughs> stuck my dagger by accident. A greater Bone Walker. That's some necromantic stuff, I think. Unless somehow this Bone Walker is a family-bound spirit slash flesh thing. Hmm, I'm not sure. It's curious, though. Didn't think Dark Elves would be into necromancy. Although this is her family tomb, so maybe she can... Maybe she can summon them here? That would make sense. This gentleman seems to be stuck. Now, I'm curious to see, too, if they'll attack her. They will. Okay, let's not kill her. Kill our charge here. Oh, I'm still sneaking. Why do I slow? Scroll of Black Scorn. Damage personality. No. Let's see. What do we have here? A single iron arrow. Let's see here. Black Anther. No keys. Oh, there is a key here. Aha. Uh -huh. to a renomate chest. Alright. That's a start. Excellent. Alright. Let's head let's take a left. Looks like the tomb is coming to an end. Oh no, it's going wow, this is quite an extensive ancestral tomb. Quality fortify health. Extravagant pants. Oh, hello, Mr. Bonewater. It's quite handy, actually. Corpse. Hmm. Seems like someone else might have been after this amulet. Nutch leather. Oh. Did not mean to take that bone mail. You may have it back, sir. I'm still over encumbered. Let's heal up a moment. 
Hmm, what did I just pick up? Just chew on some racer racer plumes. Ooh, creepy. Quote bulb. Bone meal. Detect enchantment. From here. Chest. Bone charm. Summon skeletal minion. Wait one worth 255. Take that. Ring of shocking touch. 1 to 25 on touch. It's actually not bad. The problem is, we're now over encumbered. What can we drop? It's rat meat. We'll make a little offering. Alright. Alright. That is. Pretty much cleared this whole section, so it's time to backtrack a bit. Yes, down this way. The probe. We'll borrow that. I could kill that girl. Oh. Those boots are ruined. I thought she was upset with me because I looked in that urn. My mistake, madam. Luck level 60. Now I think I'm pretty sure we have the key. However, I do enjoy practicing my lock picking skills. Ah, well. Hmm, another corpse. Finally, a follower that's useful. Alright, this must be the tomb of her father. Just curious. Hmm, what's enchanted in here? It might not be a very valuable amulet that her father had, it may just have some sentimental value. So, let's see, this gentleman has a sort of Augustus. Well, she did name her father as being Augustus. So it seems that... Hmm, it's weird that this corpse had it. Corpse of Augustus, why would his corpse be here? Weird. Hmm. So, you found my father's animal. Just hand it over, and I'll let you keep whatever else you wish. Uh, hmm. I didn't even see what it did. Dang it. Um, I'm just gonna give it to her, but I was curious about what it was. Great, thanks, Livis. I'm going to stay here and explore a bit. Good luck to you. I should have been paid more attention. That sword is pretty interesting. Looks like a silver broadsword. Drain agility, drain agility. Interesting double enchantment on it. I don't know why his corpse is here, though. He's supposed to be buried here. Hmm. A little suspicious. I'll take that diamond for my trouble. Also... Hmm. Why doesn't the blade turn up on the detect enchantment? Oh, it does. Do you have something to say, Outland? Oh, I just wasn't close enough. 
So that's his sword, and this is the amulet that I just gave her. Interesting. My detection spell just wasn't strong enough. I can spare a few moments if you care to talk. Thanks, Livus. It was a real pleasure working with you. I'm so curious. He doesn't look buried at all. I mean, if he was buried here, he would be, you know, in one of these urns or something. Looks like he came down here to raid the tomb and then got killed somehow. Hmm. Oh well, I'll leave it. It was an interesting adventure, and we're probably going to camp here for the night. Because it is, yes, well past midnight, so... Alright, so I think we have explored three ancestral tombs. Not a bad day, really. So, tomorrow, we'll probably head back this way around these little islands, around Olamayan, and then we've already done these islands on the outskirts of this peninsula here, so then we're going to come down here and loop, loop around that. And then, I think we'll be done with Azura's Coast. Unless this is also Azura's Coast, then we'll probably end up doing that as well at some other point. So, until then, safe travels.